This training will review the installation procedure to mount and wire the Tesla Generation 3 wall connector. The wall connector facilitates residential charging of an electric vehicle, or EV. Please review the entire installation guide prior to installing the wall connector. Tools and materials. Installation of the wall connector requires these standard electrician's hand and power tools. When unboxing the wall connector, confirm these components. Wall connector unit, wire box, wire box mounting template, quick start guide, which provides SSID and WPA2 details, a four millimeter hex bit, four wall connector to wire box fasteners, two wire box to wall fasteners, and a zip tie. Note, some components are packed inside the wall connector. Remove the wire box from the body of the unit to access these. Planning the installation. Determine the parking location of the vehicle to ensure the charge cable reaches the charge port. The maximum height of the wall connector is 60 inches. The minimum heights are 18 inches indoors and 24 inches outdoors. The recommended height is between 45 to 48 inches, chest height for ease of use. Also, consider the type of conduit run since it will determine the installation method to follow. Conduit may enter the unit through the top, bottom, rear left, or rear right entry port. The default conduit size is 3 quarters of an inch. If using the top or bottom entry ports, remove the respective plug. If using the rear entry ports, Drill a 1 and 1 8 inch opening and prepare the wire box for fittings. 1 inch conduit may be used on the bottom or rear entry ports. If using 1 inch conduit, drill a 1 and 3 8 inch opening to prepare the wire box for fittings. Note that the top entry cannot be expanded. Only use 3 quarter inch conduit for the top entry. Preparing the wall connector. With the wire box prepared for fittings, find a stud to mount to. Measure and mark the height of the wall connector. Once you've determined this location, use the included mounting template to determine fastener locations. For top or bottom entry installations, center the unit on the stud. For rear left or rear right installations, offset the unit to allow for conduit entry. Use a torpedo level while marking one hole from the top row and one hole from the bottom row. Drill pilot holes into the wooden stud with a 5 32nd inch bit. Next, drill matching pilot holes into the wire box with a quarter inch bit. Attach the wire box to the wooden stud using the included four millimeter hex bit and two wood fastener screws. Wiring. Install conduit and the appropriate fittings into the wire box. Pull conductors into the wire box. For top entry, the conductors will be routed to the bottom side of the unit landed on the bottom side of the terminal blocks. For bottom, rear left, or rear right, the conductors will be routed to the top side of the unit and landed on the top side of the terminal blocks. Use the service loop channel on the right side of the unit. Strip half an inch of insulation from each of the conductors. Land the EGC on the ground terminal, and then land the L1 and L2 conductors in the correct terminals. Torque the conductors to 50 inch-pounds. Secure the conductors to the service channel using the included zip tie. Finishing the wall connector installation. Attach the wall connector to the wire box. Secure it with the four included fasteners. Neatly wrap excess cord around the housing counterclockwise, and secure the handle in the side dock. Commissioning the wall connector. Turn the circuit breaker to the wall connector on. The wall connector will display a green LED. Scan the QR code located on the quick start guide to join the wall connector's Wi-Fi network. Or manually join the network. The SSID will appear as Tesla wall connector underscore followed by the serial number. The password is located on the included quick start guide and on the label at the rear of the wall connector's main unit. 
Once connected, scan the QR code on Step 9 of the Quick Start Guide. Or open a web browser and connect to http colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.92.1. Proceed past the landing page and set the wall connector's circuit breaker size. Verify that the LED pattern on the wall connector matches your selection. Refer to the chart in Step 9 of the Quick Installation Guide. Next, join the wall connector to the homeowner's Wi-Fi network. Once connected, a summary page will appear. You can verify the wall connector's circuit breaker settings by holding down the charge button for 5 seconds and checking the LED code. This wall connector is ready to charge.